everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this kind of flowy, drapey tank top. Um, it, it's loose and freeform and it drapes beautifully, but at the same time it's not entirely shapeless. So this tutorial is building upon my um, Pattern Drafting 101 Bodice Sloper tutorial, um, and I use that to make the pattern for this. Um, so yeah, uh, if you'd like to learn how to make this, just keep watching. I'm starting with a basic sloper, and as you can see, there's a side dart, a front dart, and it also does curve in a bit on the, the side here. Um, I'm just going to ignore the front dart, though. Um, it's the type of shirt I'm making, it's kind of uh, a bit looser, I'd say, so I'm just going to ignore that. Um, and then the, the neckline, um, it's not going to come up right to my collar, it's going to come down a bit. So I'm just going to come out like this sketch that in and then um, again on the shoulder same deal it's going to be a tank top so I don't want to go right to my shoulder so I basically want that now uh, this sloper ends at your waist um, and usually what you do to go on is you'd add like a a pencil skirt type sloper however because I want to be kind of flowy I'm doing something different um, I just decided to come down this is you know, about as far as I want to come down. And then do a curve up to the edge, kind of like that. Um, and then draw a straight line here. Now this is a little bit A-line. If you want to be exact, what you can do is take this line and continue it, continue it up and take this line and continue it up and then kind of rotate and uh, make your curve. But the curve doesn't have to be exact. Um, and then finally, once I've got that in, I know I want it to be a bit um, shorter on the sides than it is in the front, like I want it to scoop down a bit. So I'm just going to sketch in a curve for that too. So that's basically going to be my pattern. So I want mine to be shorter on the sides than the front. If you want it to be longer on the sides, instead of curving up here, you just go straight here. So that is the front sloper. Okay, and then the back sloper is more or less the same. Now the back sloper, obviously there's not gonna be any side darts. Um, and the, the center dart here, the middle dart, I put, um, instead of going to your bust line, I've gone to my uh, chest line, because I mean, in your back, the curves are more to your shoulder blades than to your bust. So th this um, dart is just a little bit different, but it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna ignore it altogether same as the front, this isn't really too fitted. Okay, then um, same deal like the front, I'm gonna sketch in um, uh, neck hole curve. Now, I'm not coming down because I want it to, you know, end at the pretty high up, but I am making it narrower on the shoulder um, so that it matches with my other piece. Okay, uh, and then from here what I'm gonna do is take this piece and kind of line it up, um, line the waistline up. And then follow the same design. Okay, so that here the side seams will match up. And I'm just gonna cut both of these patterns out on my fabric now. So this is the fabric once it's been cut out. I think this is the back, no, this is the front piece. Yeah, this is the back piece, like this. And then I've also cut out a little piece to be um, the front facing. So it's basically just the top of the front. Um, and then I, I cut it off below where the dart was because um, it's not necessary. Yeah, so uh, these are the pattern pieces. The fabric I'm using, it's a 100% silk crepe de chine. It is like the most amazing fabric ever. It drapes so beautifully. And uh, to help it drape even more beautifully, I've cut it on the bias because that's just how I roll. So yeah, this is my fabric. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is, this is not the back piece. This is the back piece. Um, 
I'm going to uh, finish the uh, uh, neck hole and arm holes of the back piece, but do nothing with the front piece right now. And I was going to, to finish it by using like a bit of bias tape, but I figure I'm just going to do a rolled hem um, instead, because uh, that'll be easier and quicker. Yeah. So yeah, this is the back piece. I'm going to now do a rolled hem along this edge, this edge, and this edge. So this is the back piece, and I've just sewn in a really, really delicate little rolled hem along the neckline and armholes, and I'm only doing this for the back piece. The front piece will have facing on it, so um, it's a bit different, but, but yeah, just really delicate, really slight, and this is done for now. Um, so I'm gonna start working on the front piece, and what I need to do first is to sew in the darts, if I can find it, yeah. Sew in the darts. So I've just sewn in the darts, and now I need to add the front facing. Now the front facing, you'll need to sew it right sides together to the front piece, uh, and you're only gonna sew it along the uh, neck hole and arm holes. Don't sew it along this little tab um, that joins on your shoulder. Leave it open there. So um, I'm just gonna pin these together and then sew them. So just to clarify, it'll be like this. Okay, so this is what it should look like after it's been sewn, and I've left the, the shoulder seams, I've left them open. And the reason for that is because I'm going to insert the back piece in between here. So it's probably a bit confusing, so um, bear with me. So I've got the back piece, I'm going to place it right sides together with the front piece, and then with the facing on top, if that makes sense. So like this, you can see the, the back piece is coming up between the facing and the front piece, and you just need to sew across here. Make sure that your back piece isn't at all twisted though, because otherwise, uh, yeah, that won't work. So these are sewn kind of like this, and then you can flip it the right side out, and it should be kind of like, like this. Um, this is what these look like. Yeah, and I'm going to neaten these up in a bit, but, um, yeah, but actually you need to keep it the wrong way still and sew up the side seams. So the side seams have all been sewn up, um, and now the last thing you might want to do is maybe go around and add some top stitching around the, the armholes, neck holes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as is because I think it's fine. However, I, I did add some top stitching to, um... Uh, like the shoulder seams and also a little bit in the armpit uh, just where the facing and the back and front all meet just to hold everything in place you don't have to but I did um, and then um, uh, I still need to add a hem to the bottom I'm just gonna do a simple hand rolled hem same deal uh, as I did on the top and then just you know press everything and that's basically it so what do you think? Um, I really love this. It's it's a gorgeous fabric and then just cutting it on the bias and the, the way I made the pattern. Uh, it's flowy, it's drapey, but it's not shapeless. Now I am probably going to pair this with a belt. I saw a really cute braided one at, um, braided leather belt at uh, Zara and I think I'm going to get it just to wear with this shirt. Um, a couple things I didn't take into account was cutting things on the bias, um, it makes them a bit like stretchy almost, so I should have cut this a bit smaller than I did, it is quite loose. Um, uh, another thing I didn't take into account was the fabric itself is silk, and silk is insanely strong. You might think of it as being pretty and delicate. Um, but it's not. Um, a fun fact is uh, the Mongolians, um, like Genghis Khan, his army, they used to always wear silk um, under their uh, armor because if an uh, arrow got through their armor, it still couldn't get through the silk and you could kind of like pop it out. And even the first bulletproof vests were just layers and layers of silk. So silk is insanely strong and I just use a regular sewing machine needle and it was having trouble getting through it. Um, so yeah, I did have trouble just with the actual sewing part because this fabric is so strong. I think I'd have to get a special needle, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, um, you probably won't be using the same fabric as me even if you do try this, but yeah, um, 
But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. As always, check out my website www.evangestyle.com and I have a question for you. I found a really great source for silk fabric. So what would you do with silk fabric? Silk crepe de chine, silk um, satin, silk chiffon. I'm obsessed with pure silk right now. It just feels so amazing. So what's, what are some ideas that you would have for, for pure silk fabric? Anyway, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.